Okay, restaurant owners. Go ahead. Restaurant owners. There's a table of contents. All right. Hello, my name is Anna. Go ahead. Hello, oh, my name is Anna. Hello, is Anna. Many people live and work in my neighborhood. Each of them helps uh, the neighborhood in different ways. I thought of all the things I like to do. I like helping my family cook in the kitchen. I'm good at working with numbers. I like uh, I like uh, helping people come together to have a good time. How could I help my neighborhood when I grow up? I could be a restaurant owner. Restaurant restaurant owners help clean up yummy dishes for their customers. Customers to to try. They know a lot about food, and they are good at keeping track of money. Of money. Best of all, restaurant owners help bring families and friends together over a delicious meal. That's very good. Over a delicious meal. All right. When did this job start? Many people believe that the first. True restaurant opened in Paris, France in 1765. The owner was probably a banker. People, banker. Who, people who ate at his restaurant were able to choose food from a menu. This was a new ideal at the time. All right, go ahead. Learn about the neighborhood, this neighborhood. Learn about this neighborhood helper. The best way to learn is to ask questions. Words such as who, what, where, when, and why will help me learn about being a restaurant owner. Who can become a restaurant owner? Boys, the girl, uh, boys and girls who like helping their families cook and may want to become restaurant owners. Restaurant owners also must be organized and have good math skills. They need to understand how to many how to make money and spend it wisely. All right, write this word down on words to say correctly. Wisely. Why? Wisely. Write this in your notebook. It is to show wisdom or to show how smart you are or how much how many things you know. Wisely. Wisely. All right, let's go to the next page. How can I explore this job? Ask to speak with the owner the next time you eat at a restaurant. Find out what he likes best about his job. What is the hardest part of owning a restaurant? What are some of the biggest responsibilities? All right, go ahead, restaurant owners. Restaurant owners are important neighborhood help first. They, they give uh, people a place to enjoy a good meal. Many restaurant owners even help fill the poor in, the, in their neighborhood. Meet a restaurant owner. This is Glenn Armatrot. Glenn is one of the owners of a restaurant in New, in New Orleans, Louisiana called the awesome, awesome, awesome Oyster House. Easter house. Sure. Um, his restaurant is part of a chain. Glenn also works as a restaurant operator. This means 
Uh, he is in charge of making sure all the restaurants in the chain are doing a good job. Where can I learn to be a restaurant owner? Many people who own restaurants start off, start off doing other jobs in the restaurant business. Dan's first job was washing dishes in a restaurant. He later learned new skills and was able to take different job. so, jobs. People who want to be a restaurant owner so often take classes, classes in college. They need to be good at math so they can work with money, uh, with money, with money, and a budget. Restaurant owners may take special business clothes, special business classes to learn their skills. These skills. And they often get a degree in restaurant management. Some restaurant owners take classes at cooking schools. Uh, they learned how different food are prepared. It is important for restaurant owners to know about all the different parts of the business. What does a restaurant owner need to do the job? Restaurant restaurants or restaurants have many different workers. Glenn works with cooks, servers, hostesses, hostesses, dishwashers and managers. He has to make sure that everyone has uh, the surplus, surplus that they need to do their jobs. Some of these surplus include pots, pans, trays, plates, silverware, napkins, and menus. All right, so let's say these words correctly. Here we have supplies 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 and then we have silver silverware silverware those are all the knives forks and menus menu menus all right let's look at these definitions right here budget 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 it's how much money you want to spend all right, so how much money you want to spend. If you only have $100 and uh, you need to you only spend $100 for the week, that is your budget for the week. You can only spend $100. All right, let's look at definition for managers. manager. A person who manages other people, who is in charge of other people, who is kind of like the boss or who helps people with their work, all right? All right, what are some it's what are thoughts. some tools we'll use? Com calculator, cell phone, computer, and fax machine. All right. What clothes will mm -hmm. I wear? For men, it's a dress jacket, dress shirt, socks, or sorry, slacks. 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 For women, slacks. <laughs> Dress, pants, suit. Both men and women wear a hairnet and a rubber or rubber gloves when they are in areas where food is prepared. All right, go ahead. Like many restaurant owners. Like many restaurant owners, Glenn uses his cell phone to order the supplies he needs. Uh, he uses his computer to keep track of the inventory and the number of customers who eat at his restaurant. Glenn's computer also helps him work on the budget and record these decisions about money. 
uh, where does the restaurant owner work? There are special names for the different parts of a restaurant. The, uh, the front of the house is where the customers eat their food. The back of the house includes the kitchen where the food is prepared. 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 The kitchen is also sometimes called the heart of the house become, because uh, it is where all the cooking takes place. Most restaurants also have an office in the back of the house. The office usually has computer, telephone, a file cabinet, and a... Right, and a... Let's look at this definition right here. Inventory. 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 It's the items Inventory. You, have, Inventory. you have on your list. All right. It's goods or things you have. Goods or things you have. All right. Let's go right here. File cabinet and a... Go ahead. Place. Place to keep it notice. This keep is notes. where a rest... Keep to notes. keep notes. Notes. This is where a restaurant owner's owner runs the business. Len usually gets to work early in the morning. He spends some of his time at the front of the house talking to customers. But Len also does a lot of work in his office. Sometimes Len visits other restaurants. He goes uh, to meeting and helps plan how a oyster house. Restaurants can do the best job possible for their customers. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, who works with restaurant owners? 60 employees, employees work at Glenn's restaurant. Each one has an important job. The cooks, dishwashers, hosts, managers, and servers all work together to keep the customers happy. Glenn, work, Glenn helps make sure that these workers have everything they need to, to do the best job they can. He also has help from Mike Rod, um, Mike Rodriguez, uh, the owner of the restaurant. Very good. Uh, what other jobs might I like? Food inspector, grocery store, uh, manager or owner, hotel manager or owner. When is the restaurant owner a magician? Go ahead. When, <clears throat> when is a restaurant owner a magician? Magician. Magician. Let me click on it. Magician. 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 Very good. All right, go ahead. Akma, mm, Oyster House restaurants are famous for serving oysters. Oysters belong uh, to the same group uh, of animals as um. Animals as clams and snails. Oyster House restaurants say, uh, serve more than 4 million raw oysters each year. A hard shell uh, covers the oyster. People, can, uh, people open the oyster by shocking off or removing the shell. The shell. Uh, it takes practice uh, to be shaking. Shaking. Okay. 
takes practice uh, to be an expert at shocking oysters. Sometimes lucky dinners um, open the oyster and uh, like magic, like magic, they find a pearl inside. Does the restaurant put the pearl there? No. Oysters make the pearl themselves. But Glenn and other restaurants owners make the decision to sell to serve oysters. They plan a big part uh, in helping some happy customers walk away with the pearl. Very good. How might my job change? Some restaurant owners will do who do well decide to buy other restaurants in a chain. But not every restaurant starts off as part of a chain. Some, some, some successful restaurants owners may open more restaurants and begin a chain of their own. That's like uh, McDonald's. How they're, the chain of a restaurant is like how many McDonald's you see in every city, in every country. That is a chain of the McDonald's. All right, I want to be a restaurant owner. Go ahead. I want to be a restaurant owner. I think behind a restaurant owner would be a, a great way to be a neighborhood helper. Someday you may uh, be eating a meal in my restaurant. Why don't you try being a restaurant owner? Do you think you should like to be a restaurant owner? It's good for a restaurant owner to know how to prepare and serve food. Prepare and serve. Prepare. Serve. Prepare and serve food. Work with an adult to make a simple meal for your family. Volunteer to help serve this meal. I didn't know that. The first US restaurant to serve hamburgers was, oh, Lewis, lunch in New Haven, Connecticut. Lewis Lesson offered hamburgers for the first time in 1895. Dinners can eat diners can eat at lewis lunch today the lesson family still owns this restaurant all right you can even decorate the table with colorful placemats made from construction paper all right so let's look at the vocabulary words here all right we have the glossary we have budget a plan for how to spend a certain amount of money over a certain period of time. Chain, restaurants in different locations that share a common name, menu, and look. Inventory, a list of the amounts of various goods that a restaurant has to have on hand. Managers, people who direct other workers and watch over their activities. All right, very good. All right, good job. Let's do a video break.
right, that's a good video on silent E. Let's open the next book. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's do something a little easy now. Let's do the mail truck. All right, mail truck, smell truck, table of contents. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> mail truck. Mara waits for the mail. Here comes the mail truck. The truck is white. It has a blue strip. Stripe. It has a red stripe too. It has a logo. It is an eagle. Okay, here is the logo right here. It's uh, called a logo. Go ahead. A mail carrier drives the truck. She brings the mail. The steering wheel is on the right. <laughs> steering. She can, steering um, the steering wheel. wheel is on the right. She can reach the mailbox. That's right here on the right. Because they have to draw, they have to put the mail in the box. So you don't drive on this side. They put they put it on this side, like in England. So, so she can put the mail without getting in out of the car. All right, go ahead. The mail is kept. <clears throat> the mail, the mail is kept in the back. It is organized. Very good. Let me click on the definition. Yes, organized. Uh, it's to to plan and carry out activities. That is organized. You can see here in the picture, she has everything in boxes, in rubber bands, where each mail will go to each neighborhood or home. She's very organized. All right, go ahead. The truck, the truck collect the mail too. He takes it to, to the post office. Yeah, it's very good. So in America, you put your mail in these, you can put your mail in this box outside and somebody comes and gets it and delivers it to the address that you put. And this is the definition. Collects. Collect. Collects. Um, this means to, to get or to gather, all right? To get or to gather something. All right. Go ahead. Mail trucks run six days a week. No mail on Sunday. Very good. Have you seen a mail truck? Very good. Parts of a mail truck. Lights, steering wheel, logo, stripes. All right, here's the glossary. Here's collect to bring together. All right, here they are collecting the mail. Here's the logo, a symbol or design that represents an organization. Here's organized. They have all the information in these binders arranged in a certain way. All right. All right, we finish this book. All right, let's do one more book. Let's do this easy one here. Oh, we might do two more. All right. Where do I, where do I live? Oops. I live in the city. I live in the city. All right. Go ahead. I live in, a, in a, an apartment. Yes, I live in an apartment. 
My friends live next door. Yes, my friends live next. My friends live next door. I walk to the store. I walk to the park. I walk to school. I walk to the park. I walk to school. I walk to the park. I see tall buildings. I see tall buildings. It is fun to live in the city. In a city. In a city, very good. All right, word list. We have a, a, an, i, in, is, it, live, my, see, the, to, walk. Words to know, we have apartment, building, city, park, school, store. All right, words, I live in a city. I live in an apartment. My friends live next door. I want to walk to the store. I want to walk to school. I want I walk to the park. I see tall buildings. It is fun to live in a city. All right, this is a very easy book. Let's go right here to this hard one, and then we are done for the day. How is a sweater made? How is a sweater made? Go ahead. Making sweaters. Sweater can sweaters can be made of from many different materials. Two popular materials are cotton and wool. Cotton is a plant. It grows in a field. Fields. It is harvested each year. The time of your of year dependence depends. Dependent, depends 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 on where the field is located. Very good. Let's look at the definition here. Harvested. All right. Needs to gather or get to gather or get uh, the crop, which is here. It's cotton, but it can be anything. It could be potatoes. It could be it can be cucumbers, all right, it to get harvested, all right. Go ahead, seeds. Seeds and cotton are separated from the balls. The seed cotton is thinned to a cotton gain. It is dried and cleaned. The seeds are separated. Separated, separated from the cotton. Very good. Cotton is. Cotton is sent uh, to a textile mill. Here, it is cleaned again, brushed, spun, and wove into yarn. Machines called looms. Weave, uh, wave them yarn into a product that can be make can be made into clothing. Who comes from ship? Ship draw thick wool coats each year. This keep them warm in the winter. At the end of winter, sheep are shirt. Sheep's sheep happened just before they would shed naturally. Right. naturally. This happens just before they would shed naturally. Let's look at this definition. Shear. Shear. That means to cut. All right, to cut the wool, you can see the picture here, he's cutting the wool or sheared. The, the, the sheep is getting sheared, all right? Because these are a pair of shears. If you look right here, this type of knife or scissors, all right, these are called shears. It's like a knife, but scissors, all right? 
continue. The bull in the cleaned with soap and waiter and combat. Combine the wool makes it softer. Then the wool is dyed. A uh, wool is then spun into yarn. Multiple, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple uh, strands uh, are twisted together. This makes a strong finished product. Yes, this makes a strong finished product. Product. Yes, this makes a strong finished product. All right, let's continue. The finished product. Thumb sweaters are kneaded, kneaded by hand, but machines make most sweaters. All right, very good. I'm going to, I think there's a quiz. No, there's no quiz. There's no quiz. All right. All right, we still have more time. So let's, let's look at the definitions quickly. Uh, bowl. Bowl. Yes, it's the rounded seed pod of a plant. Cotton gin. A machine that separates cotton fibers from the seeds. Harvest to gather a crop. Shear, cut the wool off of a sheep or other animals. Textile meal, a factory that creates a type of cloth or woven fabric. Fabric, all right. All right, so let's finish one more book because we still have time. Let's do something that looks tasty. Either chocolate or strawberry ice cream. Which one? Or um, oh, ice cream. chocolate ice cream? Yes. Mm -hmm. all, all right. Now for this one, I'm going to just play it for you. So all you have to do is listen. Okay. All right. Oops. All right, how is chocolate made? Just listen, here we go. I'm gonna heart it. Abdo Kids, how is it made? How is chocolate made? By Grace Hansen, Abdo Publishing Company. Cacao Tree Farms. Most cacao beans are grown in Africa. They grow on cacao trees. Africa. Cacao trees grow large pods. Inside the pods are 30 to 40 seeds. These seeds are called cacao beans. The beans are a pale color. They are dried in the sun. This turns them brown. The beans are very bitter. They must go through a process that changes their flavor. Chocolate Factory The cacao beans are sent from farm to manufacturer. Here they are roasted. Large ovens heat the beans to nearly 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius. The beans roast for up to two hours. After the beans are roasted, they must be winnowed. This process separates the shells from the nibs. The nibs are ground into a paste. The paste is bitter. It does not taste very good. The manufacturer adds ingredients like sugar and vanilla. This sweetens the paste. Milk is added to make milk chocolate. The sweet mixture is sent through rollers. This creates a smooth texture. It also brings out the flavors. Ready to ship. The chocolate is heated and cooled several times. 
This makes it look shiny. It is now ready to be poured into molds. It is cooled, packaged, and shipped to stores. More facts. It takes about 400 cacao beans to make one pound or 0.5 kilograms of chocolate. About 70% of cacao is grown in West Africa. A cacao tree must be four or five years old before it can grow its first beans. All right, let's look at that. Go ahead and read me the glossary. Go ahead and start here with bitter. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, bitter. Uh, heron is sharp, bad taste, and that is not sour or salty. Sour. 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 Oh, sour. Sour. Yeah, sour means uh, tastes like lemons, all right, or spoiled milk, okay? It tastes very sour. All right, go ahead, nib. Nib, chocolate in its worst from before anything else uh, is added. Odd. Uh, pod. pod grows from cacao trees and uh, contains uh, the, the beans. The chocolate is made from. We know. To shift, uh, to sift through and to separate the needed parts from the unneeded parts. Very good. All right. Good job. All right. All right. Let's finish the lesson with a video and then we are done. So let's do the X is for X-ray. Full treatment. I want to listen to your lungs again to see if you're able to move the air in and out better. I might also want to do a chest x-ray. An x-ray is a special picture showing things inside of you, like your lungs. Okay, well, well thanks. We, we've taken up enough of your time. What's the rush? I still have some more questions and I need to finish looking you over. Then I'll be better? No, then I'll have a diagnosis. Then I'll be better? No, then we'll start treating you. We're going to be here all night. No, you'll be out of here before you know it, and it won't hurt a bit. All right, very good. Let's finish the lesson with a poem. <clears throat> All right, let's finish this lesson with a poem and then we're done for the day. This is called The Will to Win. All right, this is about, uh, this is a poem about wanting to keep trying, keep doing it, uh, keep doing something, keep fighting, keep trying, pushing yourself so that you do the best you can. Here we go. <laughs> If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, work day and night for it, give up your time and your peace and your sleep for it, if only desire of it makes you quite mad enough never to tire of it, makes you hold all other things tawdry and cheap for it. 
if life seems all empty and useless without it. And all that you scheme and you dream is about it. If gladly you'll sweat for it, fret for it, plan for it. Lose all your terror of God or men for it. If you'll simply go after that thing that you want with all your capacity, strength, and sagacity. Faith, hope, and confidence, stern pertinacity. If neither cold poverty, famished and gaunt, nor sickness nor pain of body and brain can turn you away from the things that you want, if dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it. You'll get it.